much for joining me. We are going to be working with Anna Griffin's envelope dies. I did purchase the A6, the A7, and the slimline. So we will be working with all three of those. These are really easy to make. So you want to use um, two 12 by 12 sheets of paper. And I already cut out this large one. You will need your large Empress plates as well. So you will want to cut and emboss. I did not emboss here, and I'll show you why in a moment. And then you're gonna also need to cut out two of the uh, envelope flaps here. Um, if you are using pattern or double-sided or directional paper, make sure that you, so that you cut it out, you cut out um, the one you need, and then you cut out another one. But if you're using directional paper, you wanna flip the die this way so that your direction or your patterns match. I hope that makes sense. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and get started. And like I said, I have already cut this out. I am going to be using this side. These come with score lines. This one has two score lines. You may not be able to see mine, um, but you will be able to see yours, of course. So you just fold in half like a traditional envelope and you just burnish. Really, really easy. And if you want to use um, a different paper for your flaps, you can. Um, they don't have to match. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to take our flap, and this one looks like the left side, right side. Come on, princess, left and right. L means left. And just going to fold those. They both have two score lines. And then all you're pretty much going to need is some tape or some um, glue, your choice. And you're going to place it here. So I am just going to be using some tape and make sure you put enough tape or glue. And this one, we're going to just bring it to the edge as close as possible. There we go. And then the same for this side. Easy, right? And like I said, you can use glue and the same thing just line it up you will have just a little tiny bit of space at the top and bottom which is fine and then here you're going to place adhesive here and then here so just at the ends okay and then sorry about that you're going to lay this flat on both sides make sure it's flat and then bring this up and then you are finished now like I said I didn't emboss this area what I've done I've taken this and I've taken a piece of paper that was larger than this and I just placed it under cut it and embossed it so now I have a decorative layer for this okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that now so that was the only reason why I didn't emboss the um, envelope at first because I didn't need to because I knew that I was going to be covering it up so then you just cut this to size and place it on and you have a beautiful decorative accent to your envelope and then it comes with these envelope seals and I have taken one of them there's two of them I've taken a circular one and then you would just place some adhesive at one end. If you're ready to seal the envelope to like send it out, then you place it at both ends. Um, I'm just placing at one for now because I do want to put something in this envelope. And then you would just place some here when you're ready, close it up. And then you can, um, what am I looking for? The word I'm looking for, you can add the labels and address it as needed. Now, the A7 does not come with the labels. Um, the A6 does not come with the labels either. The slim line comes with the labels. So I do have the slim line. So I did cut out a label. Um, however, you can create your own labels. Um, and if you have Anna Griffin's um, original compendium, dies those come with labels so you can just use one of those or you can just use any die so there we go that's the a7 now let's move on to the a6 so for the a6 
it's the same thing okay so this is the a6 here's your um, flaps and then there's your envelope seals so like I said cut it cut it out emboss it I did not emboss it because again I am going to use a um, layer to decorate but it's the same thing you're gonna fold your two score lines fold and burnish and this is also some of Anna's paper as well from an older collection fold and burnish and then same thing with your flaps or I guess that's what you call it so you're gonna have your two and remember if you're using directional paper just make sure it lines up if you care about that just fold it on the score line same thing and it's just the exact same we're gonna place our adhesive okay and you're just going to line it up to the edge and sorry just trying to line it up same thing with this side I love this paper from Anna this black and pink paper I'm not sure I forgot what it's called oh it was with the paper kit I don't remember which one it was but it was something that I bought um, a paper kit I believe I got it off of HSN of maybe two years ago so then you just place your adhesive and then lay flat and then position so cute right look at that and then like I said for this the same thing that I've done with the a7 I've taken the die I've taken a decorative piece of paper put it through embossed it and then just trimmed off you know the bottom and I'm just going to place that here and like I said this is optional you do not have to do this and then this kit again does not come with the labels um, so you can create your own so there we go and then it comes with the seals and I have chosen to use this one and I've cut this one out in a pretty pink some of Anna's matte every all the paper that I'm using is Anna's paper for these beautiful decorative and then like I said when I'm ready to use it I would just put adhesive here and seal that up and then again I have cut out a label from the slim line only the slim line comes with the labels but you can create your own labels and there we go pretty right so pretty now for this one I'm going to put you can I just want to show you what you can do now if you want this to be to be considered you know not maybe you may have to pay a little bit of extra postage depending on the how much dimension your card has but if this is flat and you just want to put one or two stamps on it um, this can go through the US mail the little I forgot what they call it the little slot but if you start putting these on it they're not gonna go through because they're dimensional and they're gonna consider this a package I know because I've done it so you can dress these up and I'll just do it for the video um, just know that if it will not fit through that I forgot what you call them I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if it will not fit through that little slot for um, just your regular everyday envelope mail it's going to be considered a package so you can dress these up okay and I will say if you're going to hand deliver or hand um, you know give a card away or put it in like a gift box or something to be mailed go ahead and dress it up with all your flowers and your um, dye decorations etc but if you're going to put it through the mail I really wouldn't put these flowers and things on it okay so for the last one we have the slim line which comes with the most dyes and then this one um, you see the labels here so you get four of them two seals your flaps your envelope and then a decorative piece here so what I've done is I have taken some of Anna's paper again and I've cut it out and again I did not emboss the top because I'm going to put a decorative piece there. I have my two flaps and it is the same thing. You're just going to fold your two score lines. There's always going to be one at the bottom and one at the top. And like I said you can't see my score lines but obviously when you create yours you'll be able. 
um, to see. And then the same thing with the directional paper, if that uh, matters to you, just um, line your flaps up, cut those out, and it's the same. Um, two score lines on two score lines on each flap. And these are pretty large. So then you would just put your adhesive on and um, run this, I'm sorry, line this up just like the other one. So as you can see, they are all pretty much um, assembled the same way. And yeah, pretty much the same way. So they're super easy. Um, I do make the cards in A7, A6, and slim line so that's why I purchased all three um, glad I did so then now what you want to do is you want to place some adhesive you can place some oops, sorry my little tape runner so you want to place some you can place some here and here or you could just put it here but I don't like this sticking up, so I am going to place some adhesive down the side, okay? You don't have to do that, but I'm gonna do it because I don't like the little flap sticking up. So normally you would just close it and then put adhesive here, but I'm putting it in the middle to keep it flat, see? And then you also put some on the bottom, of course. My little tape runner letting me down okay and then just place that and then you have the little seals here um that you can use there is also this piece here this decorative layer and on the instructions it has it like here to cover up that um line there and you just put some adhesive on it and just place it on um, like I said, if you, you know, want to save on postage and things, I really wouldn't put foam tape or anything on these. Um, this too probably would have helped keep the flap down once you place this on, but I still like it um, as secure as possible. And then, of course, like the other ones, I've taken this piece, placed a piece of paper, cut and embossed it, trimmed it off, and now I have this decorative layer to place on top of here. Okay, looks like I cut it a little too short. I cut it a little too short. I trimmed it a little too short, but you get the idea. And then you have your seal. So you place it just enough at the top. And when you're ready to use it, obviously you place your adhesive and close it up. And then of course you have the labels in this particular die set. So I've chosen this one here, this larger one. So I've done background in some of Anna's I think this is champagne um, her champagne matte foil paper it's a beautiful color and then I'm just gonna place that on my card and then I've cut the second layer into a green color um, this I can still write on this when I'm ready to use it um, the green color and there we go pretty right and then I have some flowers here from Anna that I could use to place on this around it. Um, I have some more here, some pink ones to match or whatever. So, you know, you get the idea. And then so we, we're going to um, test these out. So let's make sure that our cards fit so look at that you got a lot of space in there so i have a dimensional slimline car here um as you can see it has and has 3d stickers on it so it's very dimensional so let's test this out and just you know i'm kind of squeezing it so that i can get all of this extra dimension in and then i will seal it and this there's a lot of space in here. This is awesome. You could probably fit two cards in here. I'm so, and I'm glad that it's oversized so we don't have to worry about anything getting 
bent on the corners or anything so that works good let's try the a6 so this is the one we made the a6 and then we are going to take is another dimensional card with some foam stickers and like i said i'm just open it kind of giving it a little bit of a squeeze to get this in so i'm not bending anything or disturbing any of my embellishments and close it and it's still pretty like flat so this is nice and then for the a7 the one here and this is probably a lot of um with anna's items a lot of us use five by seven this is a very dimensional card okay so let's test this out and like i said make sure you put enough adhesive um and use a good strong adhesive so your stuff is not lifting so let's try to get this in and just i'm um, open it up just to give it some wiggle room and just you see it just give it some wiggle room and it's sliding in there perfect and it closes beautiful so this is perfect for all of these dimensional cards that we have um, i want to share with you some happy mail that i got from my friend dietta and she sent me this so cute just a note to say and she wrote me a little message on the back and then if you pull look at that have you guys seen this? some of you might be familiar with this i have this kit and that's coming in a future video but it's so pretty um so it reveals look at that so cute thank you diada for this perfect card i love the sparklies never can have too much sparklies so that is my happy mail i'm thinking of you so beautiful so thank you so much for this and yes i did receive it so thank you so much for joining me guys i appreciate you guys dieta is one of my rock stars she's with me every video so thank you so much dieta love you very much hope you're doing well and I thank you guys for joining me today on the Anna Griffin Envelope Dies. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.